Hey, welcome to Stay Outside and Explore. Today, we are gonna attempt to put some wiper blades on my wife's car. Um, she's got a 2015 Ford Escape. And what happened um, last night is she was coming home and um, her wiper blade fell off. So she was smart enough <laughs> to put a glove on her wiper blade uh, and uh, so it wouldn't scratch the heck out of the windshield. So um, yeah. So instead of just getting one, I got a whole complete set. I even got the rear one too. So yeah, we'll see how this song all goes. Um, if this all uh, snaps into place, uh, this was like 80 bucks for this one, this one, and the one in the back. So let's get to it. Okay, we'll take this uh, glove off. And then we'll just hopefully clip this on. I if this is the right one. Uh, let's see. I think that's this is the right the right. You clip it, you put this end in first, I believe. Yep, it's clipped in there. It's supposed to be in the 40s today. Tonight's supposed to be getting down 30, 32, uh, with a little bit of chance of snow, maybe an inch. We're just getting a little snow burst, an inch here, inch there. So. She can have her glove back, got to dry it off. Put this in the recycling. Now let's take off the ne next one here. Like I said, these were like $30 a piece. So it's not a cheap, but you need them. So you might as well pay the price. Kind of the same design this is the old one yeah all right so you just put that top piece in first and snap it in well that's good we'll just keep this one as a spare you just never know all right so we're doing the back the rear uh wiper blade looks like it's gonna fit but i just gotta figure out how to do this i replaced this once before so it's an 11 inch you can get that got that at AutoZone. so it's got to reach in here yeah it's the right one let me put this back up there Rip the damn thing off. Cut part of it off. Yeah, I wonder. See, I don't think I needed this from last time. I think it just snapped in there. Yeah, that's all I needed. That's what was, I didn't need this part. I remember it now. All right. Well. 
no cussing and swearing at this uh, time. All right, we're inside her vehicle. Nice. And then the back. Job well done. Well, I went back back by the chicken coop and I got three eggs. I think this is from one of our uh, little chicks that we got uh, back in June. I think they're finally laying. You can see the difference here in size. The green one is an older adult and the little one is probably the one that uh, one of the six that we have that I got back in the end of June, the little babies. They're not babies anymore, they're uh, grown now, but yeah, what a size difference, eh? Okay, well, I'm, today I'm going to see if I can um, mount that headlight that I had on my lawnmower. This is actually for a bike. I'm gonna see if I can put the mountings on the ATV. One of these lights is out and it's a bit uh, pain to get to. So I figured I would just uh, mount the headlight here and then I can take this off, put the light inside and then put it on there and it'll be um, good. So let's see if I can get it. If not, I got this piece of wood. I can just mount it, you know, have it up here and then clamp it up there. But I think it might fit up here. So let's just uh, see. Give it a try. Because um, sometimes working, you know, the daylight is shorter now so we'll see if I can mount this okay I was able to uh, mount the light um, I got my mounts there what I ended up having to do is take a putty knife and push this plastic calling or whatever you want to call it I had to push it back and then I got it uh, to go so I didn't give up I got the light hooked up and uh, you can see it's pretty bright I can adjust it so um, maybe I will uh, try it out when it gets dark out and then you can dim it you can even flash it that's for like bikes so yeah turned out it's nice and tight and i will take this off and put it in the house and then when it's time to plow i can uh, put it back on it's real easy time to hang a fire blanket up let's put it around the right way there we go perfect spot for it right next to the stove Chex Mix, yummy, smells so good, so addictive, mm -mm -mm. can't wait till it's done. All right, nice day, a better way to spend it than splitting some firewood. <laughs>
this thing to be electric really has a lot of power. You can see it's split almost where that branch was. I'm gonna see if I can split it like this, where this branch is. Let's see what happens. Okay, did pretty good. For an electric um, box splitter, six ton. Um, 20 and a half inches maybe someday I'll upgrade to a bigger one but for now this does the job and I'm doing bigger locks too Did I say bigger logs? Let's see. Be interesting. So we're gonna move you over here just in case it decides to flare out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Split it. And how did it split it? We'll see what happens with that. This wood I'm splitting is ash. Okay, so that really wasn't that much time that I was splitting wood. And look, there's only a few logs. And yeah, so it didn't take much just to cut, uh, split a few logs. Didn't even break out. I think it's a good time right now to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're a new subscriber, appreciate it. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. And uh, just appreciate it. I'm going to talk about something that's interesting to me here. And with the force that we're putting on this lock splitter, that weld has to be super strong. I mean, I've known probably some of them will bust it off, but that's got to be one heck of a weld. And then back here too, you know, they got braces and stuff like that. Otherwise this would probably just disintegrate, but it's just amazing how a weld can, uh, you know, hold this in place. So, all right, I'm going to split some more wood, but I'm not going to bore you with everything. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. I really do. And again, 
um, I will have some more videos coming out real soon. Thanks for watching.